This is what 36 eggs looks like, which is what I'm gonna eat in a day. This is what 252 eggs looks like, which is what I'm gonna eat in a week. Now, why would anyone wanna eat this many eggs? Well, old school bodybuilders swear by eating massive amounts of eggs and claim it was just like taking steroids. Is that true? What's also crazy is that eating up to 36 eggs a day massively speeds up wound healing and recovery. Is that true? But I know what you're thinking. Is eating that many eggs a day safe? What about my cholesterol? Am I gonna die from a heart attack? These are great questions. And for those new to my channel, I'm Tanner Shuck. I'm a lifetime natural lifter. I'm strong, lean, fit, and consider myself very healthy. But is eating 36 eggs a day healthy? And I'm sure you're also wondering, how in the hell am I going to eat all these eggs? Well, if you want to know the answer to all these questions and way more, watch this video. The truth is, eggs are one of the most unfairly slandered foods out there. Here's what you must understand. Both eggs and dietary cholesterol are good for you. Now, I'll do a deep dive into cholesterol and show you my cholesterol levels later in this video. But first, let's discuss what makes eggs so great. Here's what you need to know. Eggs are a superfood and they contain a shitload of nutrients such as biotin, vitamin D, vitamin K, choline, selenium, iodine. I can keep going. And just food for thought, one large boiled egg has only about 77 calories, yet contains every vitamin except for vitamin C, all essential minerals, seven grams of protein, five grams of healthy fats, barely any sugar carbs, and antioxidants. So what I'm saying is, whole eggs are a nutrient powerhouse. They have to be, just think about it. Eggs must contain all the vitamins for an animal to grow and all the minerals responsible for essentially bodily processes such as cardiovascular health, immunity, and fertility. Now, is eating massive amounts of eggs really like taking steroids? Well, Vince Gironda, the godfather of bodybuilding, has been saying this since the 1950s and would regularly consume up to 30 whole eggs and unlimited amounts of meat throughout the day. And who looks healthier? Vince Gironda or the average American of today. Now, all I can say is for the past 16 weeks, I've been in a bulking phase and I've been regularly eating 12 to 24 eggs and four to 5,000 calories per day, going from a lean 200 pounds at the start to 225 pounds currently. And it's important to note, I am natural. Yes, I've gained some body fat and water weight, but I've undeniably gained size and strength, adding over 50 pounds to my back squat and deadlift and close to 20 pounds to my overhead press and bench press. Now, if you don't believe me, there was me squatting over four or five for reps now is it because i've been crushing all those eggs i'm not sure but i can say for sure i do feel stronger since i've increased my egg intake now the eggs really improve healing and recovery so not only did i feel stronger when eating more eggs what really inspired me to make this video was a groundbreaking study from 1975 where burn patients who were fed 36 eggs per day for 30 days experienced rapid wound healing and recovering from their injuries all while maintaining normal lipoprotein and cholesterol levels the researchers concluded that a high egg diet is a valuable and safe addition in the management of severely burned patients Furthermore, a similar study was conducted in 1978, where more severely burned patients were force-fed 7,000 calories per day, including 36 eggs. That's right, 7,000 calories a day, where they consumed 314 grams of protein, 600 grams of carbs, and 336 grams of fat, and ate over eight grams of cholesterol daily. And I thought me eating 5,000 calories per day was a lot. Again, the burn victims experienced more rapid wound healing, and all their cholesterol levels stayed within the normal range. At the end of the study, the researchers concluded that the high demand for energy during recovery from burns prevented abnormal rises in plasma lipid levels on the fat-rich diet, which would make total sense. Obviously, your body would require and expend more energy while recovering from injury. But I think this also is the exact same reason why I felt stronger and more recovered from training when eating 36 eggs a day as well. Now, I'm not comparing the stress from hard training to third degree burns, but I am saying all humans are living organisms and we all respond to the biological processes of stress, recovery, and adaptation. So whether the stress is from severe burns or from hard physical training, stress is stress and it must be recovered from and adapted to, which is what I personally believe eating a ton of eggs facilitates. And if you just think about it from a common sense perspective, we already established that eggs are one of the most nutrient dense, bioavailable, and healthy foods in the world. So why wouldn't giving your body more of the superfood help you recover better. It would and it does and I'm telling you that from a both scientific and anecdotal standpoint. Eating more eggs improved my recoverability, performance, and physique. Now let's be real. Is eating massive amounts of eggs really going to work like steroids? 
Absolutely not. You could eat 100 eggs a day and it still wouldn't raise your testosterone levels to anywhere near the levels of actually taking anabolic steroids. But if you're anything like me and you don't want to take anabolic steroids, an egg and meat rich diet that's high in protein, creatine, essential fats, combined with heavy consistent strength training and plenty of sleep is the best alternative. Because let's face it, Using steroids is not healthy. Why do you think so many pro bodybuilders die young? Which leads me to another interesting perspective. And just FYI, I'm gonna use the word perspective a lot because it's really important for context. Now, back to what I was saying about perspective. Why do people think it's crazy or unhealthy to eat 36 eggs a day, which is a natural food that humans have been eating since the dawn of mankind, but completely ignore the fact that their favorite fitness influencer has been using steroids for many years? I mean, what's really more unhealthy? Eating eggs or blasting steroids? I just hate the hypocrisy and it's everywhere in the fitness industry, which actually leads me to my next point. Is eating 36 eggs a day safe? What about my cholesterol levels? And am I going to die from a heart attack? Again, we must have perspective. I know 36 eggs sounds like a ridiculous amount, but just listen to this. 36 whole eggs is actually only 2,800 calories. My maintenance calories just to maintain my current body weight, given my muscle mass and activity level, is 3,500 calories. So if I just ate 36 eggs a day, I would lose weight. So when you put it in context, 36 eggs actually isn't that much. But now, I want you to think about it like this. Over half the population in America is obese. And let's compare the standard American diet of donuts for breakfast, burgers, fries, and a shake for lunch, and a stuffed crust pizza dinner while drinking a liter of Coke throughout the day. Wanna take a guess how many calories that is? Roughly between 4,800 calories on the low end to 6,400 calories on the high end, depending on portion sizes and ingredients. Let's just average it out and call it 5,600 calories, which is literally double the calories that's in 36 whole eggs. Again, this is why you need perspective Perspective. And trust me, there's way more people living off Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, and Pizza Hut than off real whole nutrient-dense foods like eggs or meat, which is why America is the fattest country in the world. And here's another fun fact. Did you know that one in eight people in the world, not just America, are obese? Not overweight, obese. Sounds to me that more people need to eat less processed shit foods and eat more eggs. Hey, most people don't know this, but this is hard-boiled and this one's not. You wanna know how you can tell? Take both the eggs and then give them a quick spin. The hard boiled egg will always be the one that spins the most. This one doesn't. I'm just gonna prove it to you. Shit. So I'll try to crack this. Look, hard boiled. See that? Normal egg. See, I'll show you one more time. No spin. There you go, normal egg. So how did I eat 36 eggs a day? It was fucking easy. I love eggs, and I've been eating a minimum of 12 to 15 eggs every day for years. Eggs are the ultimate breakfast food, so instead of only having eggs for breakfast, I also ate eggs for lunch and dinner too. I mean, it was just seven days. That ain't shit. Remember the burn victims ate 7,000 calories and 36 eggs for one month. So in my mind, if I couldn't eat 36 eggs a day for just a week, then I'm a fucking pussy. And want me to prove how easy it is? Here's me eating 12 eggs in less than 60 seconds. All right, so it's day six or seven of eating 36 eggs a day. I just got back from the gym, and now I'm about to crush 12 hard-boiled eggs for lunch, and I'm gonna do it under a minute. There's the clock right there. Oh, you gotta give me a three, two, one count, bro. Three, two, one. Go, all right here. Twelve, 49 seconds. All right, now, am I saying you have to eat 12 eggs in under a minute? Absolutely not. But I literally just proved to you that eating 12 eggs is actually way easier than it sounds. Now, what I did mostly was just eat 16 eggs for breakfast, 10 eggs for lunch, and 10 eggs for dinner. What you'll discover is eggs fill you up, but because they're so bioavailable and digest so easily, they don't keep you full that long. So eating 10 to 15 eggs every three to four hours wasn't even that hard. Now, I will say that I did reduce my meat and dairy consumption because I don't want to gain unnecessary body fat while doing this. I kept my daily calories between 3,500 and 4,000 calories per day, eating more calories on my training days and only eating 36 eggs and nothing else on my rest days. And again, it was fucking easy. Remember, millions of fat Americans mindlessly eat over 4,000 calories a day without even realizing it. And I know what you're thinking now. But Tanner, what about your cholesterol? Now, what about my cholesterol? Well, let's talk about that because eggs only get a bad rap because they're high in protein and fat. But people ignore that it's high quality protein and essential fats. The egg yolk, which is the most nutritious part of the egg, 
primarily consists of high density lipoproteins, HDL, and low density lipoproteins, LDL also known as cholesterol. But people forget while eggs do contain high amounts of cholesterol, they do not, I repeat, they do not increase the risk of heart disease in healthy individuals. This nonsense all started in the 1970s when studies inaccurately claimed that eggs increase the risk of heart disease in healthy people. However, recent research suggests the contrary and that eating eggs does not increase the risk of heart disease. And studies have shown there's also no credible link between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol. Much of the misinformation about eggs is due to the fact that eggs are the most cholesterol rich food. One egg yolk contains around 237 milligrams of cholesterol. But as I said before, eating foods rich in cholesterol Cholesterol does not increase your cholesterol levels. What actually increases cholesterol? Eating a diet high in carbohydrates, not cholesterol, is the primary factor of high cholesterol levels. As studies show that eating more than 60% of your calories from carbohydrates, which most people do, raises blood cholesterol levels. And how is this surprising? Carbs spike your insulin levels, which causes the cells in your body to produce more LDL cholesterol, which is the bad kind. And when LDL cholesterol levels are elevated, it accumulates in the arterial walls, which causes inflammation and oxidation, which can lead to development of heart disease and other complications, such as diabetes or stroke over time. So by eating eggs and other foods that are low in sugars and carbohydrates, also known as eggs and meat, you lower insulin and stabilize your cholesterol levels. Additionally, numerous studies show that eggs consistently increase HDL, that's the good cholesterol, and 70% of people who eat more eggs experience no increase in total LDL or HDL cholesterol. You must also understand you cannot survive without cholesterol. Even if you purposely avoid cholesterol, which you shouldn't, your body produces cholesterol endogenously. And for all the dudes out there, without cholesterol, you cannot synthesize testosterone. Another reason why eating whole eggs, not just egg whites, has been shown to increase strength muscle, and testosterone. Just a few things to think about before you go on your bullshit, low cholesterol diet. Now, what about my cholesterol? Well, before I reveal my cholesterol, both before and after consuming over 250 eggs, we need more context. So let's watch this quick clip of Dr. Stan Eckberg, who's smarter than 99% of people, as he discusses the research of total cholesterol as it's related to all-cause mortality in a cohort study of 12.8 million people. Now let's superimpose that color scale from the previous slide where the green zone is lower in the mainstream, in the current model, less cholesterol is always better, they say. But when we see how the so-called safe zone has the highest risk of all-cause death, we kind of start questioning that, right? And what they call the danger zone over 240, anything over 200 is at risk or in danger. And that is where the curve is the lowest that's the almost flat portion of the curve where the lowest risk is what they call the danger zone. So as you saw, total cholesterol levels between 200 and 250 milliliters per deciliter, which is considered high in the so-called danger zone, is actually the ideal range and has the lowest risk of all-cause mortality. Now, what's my cholesterol? Well, I got a blood test before eating 36 eggs a day and my total cholesterol was 204 milligrams per deciliter. And then exactly seven days and over 250 eggs later, I got another blood test and guess what? My total cholesterol was 211 milligrams per deciliter. That is a negligible increase. And both times I got my cholesterol tested, it was in the ideal range. Listen to what I'm saying. You need perspective. Look at me and then compare me to the average American. Am I fat? Am I weak? Am I unhealthy? No, I'm not. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do steroids, I eat zero processed junk, I sleep eight hours, I'm strong, cardiovascularly fit, but supposedly I'm unhealthy because I eat eggs instead of heart healthy Cheerios and muffins. Even though my cholesterol is in the ideal range for the lowest risk of all cause mortality, even after eating over 250 eggs, give me a fucking break. If you haven't figured it out by now, food corporations, big pharma companies, healthcare, and the government want and need people fat and sick so they can keep prescribing them bullshit medicines like statins and diabetes drugs. And why is low cholesterol supposedly healthier than high cholesterol when research consistently shows more people die with low cholesterol than high cholesterol? And don't forget, who pays for all these studies? The drug companies that are pushing the drugs. And guess what happens when a study comes out with unfavorable results? It's not published. This is why you cannot and should not get your health information from the government or mainstream media. It's all about money. And I've said this before, but guess what? Healthy people are bad for business. Now, am I saying you need to eat 36 eggs a day like me? Absolutely not. 
It's not sustainable long term, not even for me, but I will continue to eat at least 10 to 15 eggs a day. But I'll also make room in my diet for more meat, dairy, fruits, and vegetables. Because you can never go wrong with a well-balanced diet of real whole foods. But what I am saying is that eggs are a superfood. And if you learned anything from this video, is that you should not fear eggs or demonize cholesterol. I've shown you both scientifically and anecdotally, cholesterol is good for you. Context matters. If you're a healthy and active adult, worry more about low cholesterol, not high cholesterol. But if you're an unhealthy, fat, sedentary adult, yes, high cholesterol can be a concern. But that's almost certainly because of a lack of physical activity and an ultra-processed food diet, not because of eggs. So whether you're healthy or not, this is my long-winded way of telling you to eat more fucking eggs. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, I think you really might love my full day of eating and bulking video because you can see exactly what I eat, how I train, and get free workouts. You can watch that here. And also, please check the links in the description for my free anabolic meal plan, training programs, supplements, and apparel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And thank you so much for watching.